welcome back. Uh, today we're going to sew in the signature and hopefully uh, finish this little booklet off that we did. Um, so I've already chosen, it's this, like I said, this is just really more of a booklet um, because the, the project is, is a much bigger uh, thing with lots of elements. Um, so I just thought we would very quickly sew this in and I think this one I'm just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch and uh, so let me just get my little marks here it's been a long time since I've done a three hole I generally do five and I'll have to think <laughs> I might have to think on how to do this. I'm sure it'll come back to me. And this one I'm going to use. I don't even know how I ended up with this. Um, let me get that. Um, it's quite thick, and I don't even, there must have been something I bought that I ended up, because I thought this, I, I just want this to be a really rustic little, little um, booklet. So I'll center that, and I can get my holes on the I'm hoping we get time, should have time to do some embellishing on the front. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Like I said, I want to keep this a pretty simple project because I've got so much. Oh dear, let's see, how am I going to do that? I try to hold that there. Da da da, how much of this will I need? I hope this works. I've never worked with anything this thick, so hopefully I can do that. Just thought it might be kind of cute to have that in the center. Oh boy, that is going to be thick. Goodness. Oof. I can't tell you how many times I've stuck myself sewing these signatures in. I should have made these holes a little bit bigger. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's going to be tough to get that through. That's why I don't like working with big needles, but um, it's the only thing I could get this through. And I thought, oh, well, just to do something different, it would be kind of fun. For a different look. that stuff again. Like I, said, I don't even know how I came to have something like that. It must have been something that I ordered that they threw that in. I'll leave those long for now just because I might add something to the bottom of that. Oh goodness, I got lucky on that one. I just realized I hadn't checked my book page to make sure. Yeah, that's fine. So, later... I can come back and I'll add a pocket to the front and back of this, but this is going to be a really simple. I just want to get on with um, embellishing the front of this.
because I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have not planned any of this out, so if if my mind goes blank, I'll have to um, just pause it until I can come up with something. Because I don't want a lot. I think just some pretty lace. I definitely want a little tag. Let's see, what do we got here? We need... Do I want a little tag down in the corner? I might. might use that one. Let's see if I thought it can. Probably use that. What else? What else? What else? We want some lace. Because I don't think I want to come back with another image because I'm really happy with that. I just think it needs a little bit of something over here. my lace drawer the other day and uh, honestly it, it just needs a do one again because I don't know it's just gotten into a state again here okay let me see this isn't everything I got but I'm just gonna have to start somewhere it's too big but that color would be a nice contrast wouldn't it mm, how could I do that. It's just too too big. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to cut that in half and see if there's some way. Oh, I do like that. That has to be on there. I think. I think that has to be. Let me get my other scissors. I finally broke down and bought myself some fabric scissors. So I'll set this to the side because that will be the last thing we'll do. Um, da dum dum dum. I don't know. This is how I do sometimes, just start grabbing things and uh, and then you can cut them and change them around. Oh, I forgot about this. This is such a pretty piece. Oh, maybe that's... Oh gosh, isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Oh, and then I forgot all my goodies from the other day. See, that's in a different drawer, so it's out of sight and out of mind. Oh. I, I'm going to need to press that if I use it, but I, oh gosh, isn't that beautiful? Might not use that now. Let's see what else have I got here. Oh, look at that one. That would be pretty. Oh, I think I'm favoring that though. But I'm going to need to press that because that's going to bug me. And then I've got some of this. Okay, I'm going to have to pause it, guys, and get this pressed, and then we can start working. Hey guys, okay, I did uh, take that over and press it, and then I started playing around, and I think I've come up with that, so I'm actually quite happy, and then I think I'll age that and just have it dangling there, so let's get started. I know I need to snip this just about 
just about there. Oh gosh. Look at that. So pretty in that. Ooh, I don't know. I don't some of the you know how some pieces you're like, oh gosh, I don't know. I might have to hang on to that. But honestly, it's getting crazy, crazy in here. Um I really would have preferred to have stitched this on, but I didn't. So there you go. There you go. I'm not going to let it stop us. And that little piece, I just... I just think that's really, really pretty. It's so delicate, that lace is. And I don't know why, I've just kind of got... I really, really want that piece on there. So I'm just going to put a little bit... Normally... I would have collaged all this and probably run it through the machine and got it all stitched together. Sometimes you can't do it like these. I wouldn't do that with that, but because um, I'm kind of fussy about, I like to make sure that there's no chance that that stuff's <coughs> going to go anywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to have that, I don't know what I'm going to do when this piece runs out. My friend who, um, she is a seamstress and she um, does a lot of wedding dress alterations. So she gave me loads of uh, the off cuts and I don't know what I'm going to do when that stuff's gone because I don't live close to her now. So I'll tuck that there. Yeah, see these really should have just been hand stitched there. Oh goodness, I'm happy with that. Just put a little bit there. If, if I don't feel like it's, um, if I don't feel as though that's got a good grip, I will come back and stitch those, just a few little stitches to absolutely make sure that that's secure. guys I'm working up a sweat here this is crazy I don't know I'm just finding it so nerve-wracking um, not put anything because I don't want to take away from the images. So, um, let's see. What else? What else? What else does it need? Another little bit. Let's see how it would look. I'm just going to see if it would look good with just a completely random piece. I like it because 
Do you see it's like a little a little leaf there? And I think that is kind of delicate just hanging from it, isn't it? So that's what I'm going to do. You know what? Let's see. I, can, I should have pinned that up under there. Oh well, it's just going to have to be here, I'm afraid. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to leave those because I might attach a couple of little pearls. But let me give you guys a close-up. That could add the adore stamp. I don't know. I'm scared of... This is where I set things to the side and then come back. And um, if there's anything I, I'm not happy with, then I can tweak it. But I'm pretty pleased with that, actually. I think it's come out sweet. And it's just another little little booklet that's going to go into another project. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today while I finish that, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day!